Mm. All right. Hello. Good hey. afternoon, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Tom. What's going on, mate? Are you well? So, you guys that are watching at home, um, what's your name? Where are you from? And how are you? Write in the chat, okay? Tell us how you're doing. So, So yes, well focused four to five activity describing a place. Okay. So thinking about describing a place, describing your home perhaps, or the city in which you live. What's it like? Guys at home, tell us, where are you, where do you live? Where are you watching from? Okay, Maria Giuseppina. Hi, Maria. Um, she says, and she's fine. That's good to hear. Fantastic. What's it like in Salerno? I have never been to this place. A lot of our a lot of our viewers, a lot of our students in Salerno. So I'm interested to know what it's like. How to describe this place. Okay. So Andrea and I are in Florence. Yeah. We teach in a Back school in. in Florence. Firenze Alberti. And I would describe Florence as a very historic city. Um, Agreed. A very beautiful city. Hi, Andrea. Hi. I apologize. My internet is not cooperating. No, oh, it happens. No but problem. It happens. So, yeah. How would you describe Florence, Andrea? What? Uh, I agree. You said historic. Mm. Did you say cultural? I didn't. No, no. That's a good mm. one. Of course. Yeah. Because it's a city full of art. and Absolutely. Beautiful architecture, Certainly. lots of culture I, here. I would also describe it as uh, delicious. <laughs> it's not a typical adjective we use for, for a, a city, city or a place. Yeah, but it, it, <laughs> yeah. the food and beverages here are mm. very delicious. So the city it's overall bit, um, is delicious. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, it's a bit cold at the moment. I would describe it as cold today. I've got my chamomile tea mm. because my That's apartment awesome. is a little bit cold. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, normally I'd say quite, quite temperate. Uh, it's a very nice. Sure. And in the summer, Certainly not cold, is it? So I would describe the climate as very humid and 
very hot. Especially in summer. What is the climate like where you are? So recently cold in Florence. We had snow the other day. Oh. We had a little bit of snow like where, where you are. Snow, fantastic. Okay. Hey, dude. So, yeah, Florence, very historic, very beautiful city, very cultural city. And um, what did you say, Andrea? Tasty. A delicious city, he said. It is a delicious city. I do apologize for my connection at the moment. It is very in and out, as we say. It can't be helped. No. I blame I blame all the people who are at home watching Netflix and watching, you know, YouTube, using the internet all at the same time because hey, we have nothing to do at the moment, right? <laughs> Everybody's at home. Very few people are working. What are you going to do, eh? It's, it's difficult at times. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Oh. <laughs> Frustrating. I simply want to speak with you all in this lovely city we call Florence. With you so. in Salerno and around. So before we lose connection again, let's hit the next slide, why don't we? Yeah, nice. Okay. So, while you have me, I think I will read this one. <laughs> Describing sure a place, right? There is, there are, modal verb can. Describing a place, prepositions. Right. Okay. So. Tom, Where do you live? Away, please. Yeah, sure. Where do you live? Guys at home, if you're watching, let us know where you are. Where do you live? I live in a city, in the suburbs, in a town, in a village, in the countryside, in the mountains, by the sea. or near a city, Berlin, for example. Excellent. Okay, All the right. suburbs. Ooh, I think yeah. some, of our, some of our viewers may not have come across this word, the suburbs. Yeah, so the suburbs, it is a district um, that is outside of a city. For example, right. Campo di Marte, outside of, in Florence. Okay, perfect. That, so, you uh, have the, so you have the urban area, which mm. is the inner, inner city. And then you have the suburban area, which is outside of the city, more like the periphery, mm. I suppose. Yeah. Does that sound about right to you? Absolutely. Uh, it's also uh, commonly, usually residential, right? Exactly. The center, exactly. maybe more, more economic activity, more retail mm -hmm. um, businesses. Exactly. And the suburbs, right, short for 
suburban. It's more residential. Yeah. Um, exactly. Back home, I'm from New York, and my town is a suburb of New York City. Okay. Or you could take another big city, for example, London. Mm. Now the center of London is is quite big, but the but the outer area, the suburbs of London, it has big sprawling suburbs. It's a very big city, but most of most of the, uh, the, the well the suburban area is all is all housing. Mm. Absolutely. You have some shops, right? But overall, in general, residential. Exactly. Tom, in England, where do you live in a village, a town, in the countryside, in a city? So I live in a small city, um, but it's a very small city, smaller than Florence. Um, and the surrounding countryside for um, so a town really, really it's a town, but we have a, a church, a church called an abbey. It's not a cathedral, but we have an abbey, and one of the towns nearby. Um, has a cathedral and we share this cathedral and so my town is considered a city but really it's, it's small so you guys at home tell me where are you from where do you live you live in a city, a town, or a village? Thank you, every Tom and everyone, for your patience as I struggle with the internet. It can't be helped, can it? No. You're being very patient as well. Yeah. The I patience wish. of a saint, we say. Ooh. Do you have that expression in America? The patience of a saint. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so we all, we all need to use that saying every now and then, now don't we? <laughs> I think everyone is living by that at the moment. We have sure. no other choice, do we? Don't we? Sure. So oh, New York yeah. is New York is a huge city. Yes. A very big city. Very big, noisy, crowded, uh, but also just fascinating. Uh, very exciting. Sure. A I lot bet. of things to do. And it's by the sea, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. It is by the sea. Uh, you maybe don't want to swim in the immediate okay. area <laughs> right? <laughs> around New York City. But yes, uh, we, I mean, you, it, Manhattan is an island. So there are about six bridges that you can take mm -hmm. uh, to enter New York City. It's... It, it, it's beautiful. It is okay. absolutely what we call a concrete jungle, though. Yeah. Okay, right. A concrete jungle. That's a great um, expression, isn't it? Yeah. So this makes me think of a very wild, chaotic environment. Mm. Right. Absolutely. Oh, Irene, uh, you live in a city if 
we may ask, what city? And do you like it? And while Edenna answers, Tom, shall we move on to the next slide and start? Let's continue, yeah. Yeah, getting descriptive. All right. Concrete jungle, I like that description. Yeah, that's a good one. So while we read these, everyone, if you will begin to match the opposites while we read this way by the time you answer, we will be ready for you. Perfect. Irene says she lives in Naples. Wow. Oh. Excellent, Irene. Very exciting. I really want to go to Naples. I hear it's very chaotic, but very exciting and very beautiful. Absolutely. Have you been to Naples, Andrea? No, not yet. In the future. I want to go. Yeah, I want to go as well. Yeah. We, we should plan a trip. We should make a trip down there together. I like it. I hear the food. I hear the food is, is beautiful. Yeah. Especially fried fish. Mm. Fried fish and pizza. Oh, wow. Anchovies. Oh, I'm a huge fan now you're, of anchovy. Now you're talking. Mm. Fantastic. All ma marinated, fried. I, what I, I don't know, however else. Beautiful, I yeah. I love it. <laughs> Me too. How would you describe uh, Naples, Irene, using the adjectives on the slide? Okay, good question, yeah. Yeah. Tom, will you read one to seven, please? Sure thing. So, noisy, big, nice, Old, clean, interesting, beautiful. Excellent. Thank you. I will read A through G. Modern, quiet, boring, ugly, dirty, horrible, small. Okay, so mm. you guys at home. Try to match the opposites. Yeah. What is the opposite of noisy? If you know, write in the chat, okay? Yeah. Okay. So, so is New York a noisy city? Yes. New York is I a noisy is. city. <laughs> in cent Central Park can be quite quiet, though. Okay, nice. Yeah, so the opposite there, right? Opposite of noisy. Sure thing. Quiet. Okay, perfect. And Tom, perfect. I'm sorry, where do you live in, uh, or did you live in England? I apologize, I lost my internet when you answered. No problem, I live in the West Country, small mm. city. It's quite quiet. Excellent. So it, it's, you said small, it's not big. No, no, absolutely it's... not. Right. Or opposite okay. there. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I like what you did there. We try. Like to have fun. And. Okay. So opposite of nice is drum roll all together everyone horrible <laughs> nice and horrible yeah yes. oh i apologize before we continue there is a false friend in noisy it does not Quite mean, right does not mean boring it's not noyoso noisy is a lot of sound and activity, right? You can imagine in a regular period, many cities are quite exactly. noisy. Exactly. Absolutely. Right now, 
the city center is not noisy. I don't think I have no. not been there for some time. I, I don't think it is though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ghost town. <laughs> Excellent. Love that phrase. Let's type that in before we continue. Oh, and okay. Irene. Yeah. Big old. She describes yes. Naples as Absolutely. big, old, interesting, and noisy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. And so while we consider the opposite of old, clean, interesting, and beautiful, I was going to type something in a banner and I forgot. I apologize. So, um, ghost town. Ghost town. Thank you. It's like a ghost town. Where is everybody? Um, right. uh, empty. All the shops are closed. The restaurants are empty. Where is everybody? Excellent. Excellent. There's a song as well, isn't there? The Scar record. Not Scar, Two Tone, really. Do you know? Ooh, no, I don't think I know that. Who is it? Um, I'm not going to sing it. Oh, um, come on. Come on, you must know. <laughs> I can't no, remember if... exactly how it goes. It's a no, British uh, two tone band, or Scar band. Oh, I forget what they're called. I'm sorry to say I don't remember. It's a, it's a good song. Um, so is it an old song or? <laughs> good. Or well, it's opposite. not a new song. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's not exactly. It's not a modern. Modern. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Excellent. All right. Are the lyrics, so song lyrics, are the words to a song? Mm -hmm. <laughs> are they are they are they clean? Well, it's not a rap song, so they're they're ah. fairly clean, yes. Ah, they're fairly clean. They're not exactly dirty. <laughs> That's nice. Very good. Try. You know, we have to keep it interesting, right? That's right. <laughs> Very good indeed. Otherwise, when things What's fall the opposite. Yeah, it, the opposite of interesting is when uh, things fall flat and they become quite Bang. boring. <laughs> right. Right. And nice. Tom, what 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 would you say? The opposite of beautiful is well unbeautiful unbeautiful ah. does that work i don't think I, I don't know unbeautiful i feel like you're undoing someone's beauty <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've done, done so well done and i'm spoiling it right yeah beautiful and, and ugly you know ugly Excellent. I like your pronunciation, Tom. Will you do one more time for everyone at home? Pronunciation of ugly. Ugly. Blech. Right? Ugly. Ugh. Ugly. Not ugly. Right? All together. Ugly. Ugly. Fantastic. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's keep here. it moving, shall we? We continue. Will you read, please, Tom? Which of the adjectives on the left are similar to these words? Cultural, exciting, polluted, chaotic, historical, and crowded. Excellent. Some quite tricky pronunciation there, Andrea. Yeah, I'd say exciting. Even I swallowed a bit on that one. Exciting. <laughs> right. We all stumble. It's why we practice. Why we are it's here together. Exciting. We all make mistakes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so the first one, cultural. Okay. Mm. Uh, so not not cultural. Cultural. Mm. Excellent. Good point. Cultural. 
is that uh sound that we love so much in English. Yeah. We love um, it. Which is different from the, the sound we make in polluted. Okay. Right? Polluted. polluted. Not polluted. Polluted. Good. Fantastic. And as you said, let us continue. Some tricky pronunciation, definitely. Yeah. Chaotic. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind me, buddy. My Let's apologies. continue. It's fine. No, no, chaotic is absolutely one we should practice. Chaotic. Ah, so it's like K, chaotic. Absolutely, it is that k, not a ch, not a chaotic, right? Mm. That nice K sound, as you said. And not an A, but an A, chaotic. Mm. Chaotic, excellent. All right. Ooh, Irene, historical, old, absolutely, good connection. Let's highlight that. Sure, Show you yeah. off. Great answer. Yeah. Thank you for typing in. What's another word for historical when something's very old and historical? I believe it begins with an A. Okay, sure. Am I close to the mark, Tom? Yes. Funny pronunciation a again. Ancient? Okay, I'm thinking of Rome, for example. Ancient Rome. Ancient. Excellent. Shall I type that or? Oh, sure. And while All you right. type that, Irena has another fantastic example. Polluted is similar to dirty. Exactly. Okay. Ah. So we see the similarity. Mm -hmm. Polluted, dirty. Which is, you know, difficult. A place um, that is tends to be polluted and dirty, they also tend to be interesting and exciting. Well done, Irene. Yeah. Right? The more things, the more activities there are, eh, the more waste it tends to create, doesn't it? Sure. Very well done, Irene. Really nice. So I'm sure. Naples is all of these things, interesting, exciting, historical, noisy. Should we just go to Naples after this? Right. After this? I'm not sure if we can. We Are we allowed? Trip. No, not for some time, really, right? But after I quarantine, love, yeah? After quarantine. I mean, because these Italian cities, they, they have that nice mix of the historical and old with modern uh, you know, tram and railway and, and buildings as well as the ancient. It, it's a very, very interesting mix, isn't sure. it? Sure. Love yeah, it. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay. Shall we move on to a few more uh, descriptions? Yeah, let's continue. Yeah. Ooh. Right. So, if I may, Tom, I'm going to read Please. this one. Please, Describe yeah. these places. Example, what's London like? London is, I think I would agree, very big. London isn't boring. <laughs> Adjectives we saw, big, old, boring, noisy, horrible, small, modern, interesting, quiet, Nice. So, okay. as Tom and I take turns describing, how would you describe these cities? Absolutely. Right. So, should we start with London? Ah, sure. I'll let you carry that away. You know a bit more than I do. I have not been to London. Haven't you? Okay. Um, yeah, London is certainly very big and very interesting. Mm. Um, how else would you describe London? 
guys at home, if you've been to London, how would you describe it? So, yeah, um, London's certainly a very old city. I would say, you know, for me, I imagine it's a big city. I really only know London from film and uh, television and sure. honestly, and Dickens books, right? Right. <laughs> and maybe a bit of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. So it seems like a very interesting and at times uh, horrible, <laughs> only because of. <laughs> <laughs> But I yeah. might be, that may be the stories that I, I read. Yeah, I think it's changed a bit since the days of, of Charles Dickens. Yeah, that's only um, what, roughly 200 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, a um, less. <laughs> but not necessarily for the better. Oh, interesting. Okay, oh, I have to watch my... Um, so... Yeah, it's um, it's certainly a very dirty city. Mm. Um, well, New York is rather dirty as well. I think any big city. Yeah. Big cities are normally quite dirty. So Maybe Stefano, people. Stefano says London is old and modern at the same time. Fantastic, Stefano. Good. Uh, Good use of language there. Absolutely. So, a contrast. It's both. It's both old and new, both old yeah. and modern. And Stefano also says Lake of Como is quite and nice. I believe. Okay. Right? Watch. Excellent. Thank you for typing in. But watch the spelling. We have quite, as you typed it, and quiet. Quiet is the opposite okay. of noisy. And it's spelt like, like this. Quiet, but excellent observation. So quite is, is a way of grading the adjective nice, yeah? Mm. It could be quite nice or it could be very nice. Absolutely. For emphasis, really very nice. But quiet is, is quite different. Right. Not confusing. Mm. And in English, we, we just say Lake Como. Mm. Good point. We don't say the Lake of Como. We just say Lake Como. Mm. Ooh, Irene, have you been to Del Delhi? I have not, but I think I agree with your description that Delhi yeah. is big, noisy, and crowded. Fantastic description. Yeah. Yeah. It must be very interesting. I want to visit the the spice markets in India. They seem very colorful. Mm. Yeah, certainly. I went to Lake be... Como last year. Wow. Did very... you, um... Looks really beautiful. Did you take a boat or anything? I did. I did take a boat. Wow. To a couple of cities. It's, it's really, it's very, very beautiful. I went in Gorgeous. February, so when I jumped in the lake, when I went into the water, it was mm -hmm. um, quite cold. Okay. Really, I mean very cold. Yeah. Very cold, but beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful place, absolutely. It wakes you up though, doesn't it? Having a Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Having a dip in the freezing cold waters. I enjoy it. Exhilarating. Yeah, exhilarating, fantastic. I enjoy. Upright. I think it's quite I think it's quite good for you. I think it's quite good right. for your 
helped, yeah. Cold mm. showers occasionally, I think, mm. are really quite good for you. I don't mind. Mm, How do you but... all feel about cold showers? <laughs> Our wonderful viewers, what do you think? The occasional cold shower. Hmm? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and when you get out of a cold shower, you feel warm. Oh, That's certainly. a strange thing. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, what about other cities? Yeah. What about New York? We can't skip New York, can we? Oh, true. I mean, New York is it, it's big, it's noisy, it's chaotic, it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. and modern but at the same time it is also it's also it's nice you can okay. find places that are rather quiet central park okay other parks if you go into brooklyn That's a very i have never been to new york i'd love to go yeah. um it strikes me um I think it's a, a, a very cultural city. Mm. Agreed. If you want food, you know, excellent place to go. I mean, all of the cultures okay. that come, people bring bring their culture, all of the people that come, they bring their culture with them. Sure. It, it enriches uh, New York City and the US and everyone who visits it's it's nice it's quite nice so it's very so it's very diverse and and cosmopolitan yeah absolutely at times it's overwhelming there is <laughs> there are a lot of people there is a lot to do you can do many things yeah which I think is a nice little segue into our next slide. If we will. Mm. All right. All right. Tom, will you read or begin to read at least, please? What do you do in these places? Example, what do you do in a cinema? You watch films and you eat popcorn. Places, cinema, restaurant, museum, castle, shopping center, school, hospital, park, gym, hotel, shops. Fantastic. And activities. See a doctor, <laughs> go shopping, play a sport, play sport, eat dinner, do exercise, S stay. You, um, you, you can stay in a city. <laughs> Watch films, look at paintings, study history, learn things, have fun. I would agree. All right. Okay. And I like what you've written there. Um, you equals people in general. Okay. What can one do? What can you do in a cinema? What can I do in a cinema? So uh, this applies to anyone. Yeah, general, right? What you can not always use specifically, but people in general. Okay. So... so can what we do, do any do of these more? things? <laughs> <sighs> we can we can stay in Florence. <laughs> we can stay, yeah. We can stay absolutely at we home. Can stay. <laughs> uh, Not a lot else we can do at this moment. We can eat dinner. Hmm. In in general. Sure. Maybe not at a restaurant. Sure. Just not at a restaurant. Yeah. But we can eat dinner. You, did okay. you know you can visit many museums, offer virtual tours? As we are offering an online classroom, many museums mm. 
around the world offer virtual tours. So you can uh, yeah, so you can look at paintings, you can visit the museum without leaving your home. Okay, good Irene. What do you do in a museum? You look at paintings. Yes. Fantastic. Excellent contribution, Irene. I went to the Uffizi a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, a month or so ago, it was so busy. Um, yeah. I looked. I looked at some paintings, but um, it's enormous. The place is so big, impossible to see everything in one in one visit. Absolutely. I tried in one afternoon, and too much to see. A lot to see. Irene, do you visit museums? Do you like to visit museums? While we wait for your answer, what else? Ta, are there any, are there any, can you visit a castle in Florence? I don't know the answer to that. I am told there is a castle. Um, I don't know where. Hmm. I think it's on the outskirts. That's another strange word, isn't it? Um, it? The suburbs of the city, perhaps Fiesole. I think oh. there might be a castle. Excellent. Do you do do people? What do people do in a castle? Do they see a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> I don't, I don't know though. I think in general, no, right? No, not normally. I, I suppose you study history in a castle. I suppose. I suppose. Learn things. Yeah. yeah. Study history, why not? I'm sorry, what was that? Study history, yeah, absolutely. I'd say. Oh, very mm -hmm. nice, Irene. I like to visit museums. Okay. I do too. Fantastic. Something in common. All right. Absolutely. I like it. Tom, what do you do in a gym? Um, well, normally I do exercise. Mm. Sometimes I have a sauna. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. It's very relaxing. Yeah, I enjoy it. Fantastic. All right. Shall we continue? More yeah, things let's. to do? Yeah, why not? Okay. Ooh. Love that. So, okay. what is there in your town or city? Examples, in my town, there is a park. In my city, there isn't a cinema. In my city, there are lots of shops. In my town, there aren't any hotels. Tom, on the right, we have a list of things. But I can't seem to read them. Would you read them for me, please? Sure. So we've got cinema, restaurant, Museum, castle, shops, school, hospital, park, gym, hotel, shopping center. Fantastic. Oh, I like the spelling of shopping center. In the US, we spell center C E N T E R. Uh, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Okay, good. So pronunciation as well, center, cinema, hospital, with a great big ha at the start. Hospital. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
So, so. Um, what's there in your city? My hometown or the city where uh, I live? You know what? Let's go your hometown. What is there in your hometown? Okay. In my town, there is a hospital. Hmm. That's nice. What is so, there in your hometown, Andrea? In my hometown. Right? <laughs> well, my hometown is, is a smaller town called Brewster, New York. It's about one hour north of New York City. What's the name? Brewster. 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 Okay, mm. nice. Yeah. Like uh, Brewster's Millions. <laughs> yes, exactly. Interestingly, I like that movie. There is a castle in my town. It's a small okay. castle. Very small castle. There isn't. Mm, there aren't any hotels. There aren't okay. any hotels in my town. Nope. Okay. Nope, nope. So, um, hmm. I think my town has all of these things. I bet your town has a proper castle, doesn't it? Oh, no, in fact, you're right. In my town, there isn't a castle. Mm. There isn't a castle. Excellent. So that brings up a good point. Ah, you don't know. Fantastic. In my city, there are lots of restaurants. Good job. Well done. Fantastic English. And it's good to hear that there are lots of restaurants. I know the food is yeah. very good. Andrea and I are coming to visit. With, with uh, big appetites. Yes, absolutely. So, just a few minutes left now. Yeah. Well done, you don't know. Excellent use of the plural. Right? There is, Good. yeah. Use singular. There is a park. There isn't okay. a cinema. For the plural, Tom, carry away. Um, so, in my town, there are two universities. Excellent. Right. And as Irene said, there are some hospitals. Plural. That's fantastic. We have the quantifier some, but we wouldn't say there are a hospital. There are a hospitals. Nope. There are some hospitals. There are lots of shops. And exactly. Do we often use any um, in the affirmative, Tom? Any only with questions and negatives, Excellent. especially questions with a plural. Mm. So are there any universities in your town, Andrea? Uh, no. There aren't any universities in my town. Okay. Not even one? No. Not even one university. There aren't any. Right. There are aren't. there any are there any restaurants in your town? Yes. There are a lot of restaurants in my town. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Well, yeah, Tom, we are just about finished, aren't we? I'm afraid to say, yes. It's been fun. Absolutely. Remember, if you have any questions, remember to visit My English School, SOS, right? On, okay, fantastic. On Facebook.
and to join us for any additional broadcasts each hour with teachers from all over the city, the country, I should say. <laughs> Absolutely. There is a lesson every hour for your level. So tune in. Thank you for joining us and thank you for your patience. See it's you been next a pleasure. time. Ciao, guys. Take care. Have a good day. See you again soon.